Hey guys, welcome back to the Margate YouTube channel. This video, we've got a really big light to test. It's called the Supreme S1200, and physically it is huge. Definitely the biggest uh, fixture I've ever tested. It's about three and a half foot, or about 1100 millimeters this way, and it's five and a half foot, or about 1.7 meters that way. So a huge light. It is foldable, so it comes uh, a bit more compact than it is here, uh, but still very big. So the end LED bars here at each end fold in just for smaller um, shipping, more compact shipping. The LED bars themselves are very wide, um, got a lot of cooling going on here. So the, the fixture does run very cool, lots of fins, and as I said, lots of cooling on the, um, the LEDs. The um, spectrum output, so you've got a mixture of cool white and warm white LEDs along with reds for enhanced efficiency and some far red and then some UVA LEDs. First tested it, so on, on the dimming function you can dim manually on the fixture um, from about 70% power up to 100% power and then the UVA is an option so you can switch on or off the UVA. I tested it first the spectrum first without the UVA. And you can see here, it's got full spectrum, a little spike for the enhanced red and um, perfectly suitable from growing from seed to flower. And then you can add about an additional 80 watts of UVA when you switch on uh, that element. And you can see the spike of UVA over on the left-hand side. You've got the full spectrum extended out with UVA on one end and far red spike on the other. The fixture itself plugged into the wall consumes about 1260 watts, which means it really is massive. Um, it didn't have a um, test area really big enough for this. Um, I asked the manufacturer and we agreed to test it in a six foot by four foot. That's 1.8 by 1.2 meter uh, space. And that's what I did because it's so big. I couldn't calibrate it down to a thousand micromoles in the center. The average power was way above that. But so I set it at sort of a nominal 45 centimeters or 18 inches hanging height and tested with the spot on quantum sensor, the power output across that whole test area. This delivered an average of 1228 micromoles across the area, which is huge. Um, as I said, Really, this fixture should be in a larger space, um, unless you're, of course, using CO2. But for regular um, growers, it should be in a larger space, probably about one and a half times the area that I tested it in. So I tested it in uh, six by four, 24 square feet. It should probably cover about 36 square foot for, with an average power of in and around 800 micromoles. The system efficiency, um, so dividing the total power output by the wattage input was 2.11, which is good. For this um, this type of fixture. It does also have an external controller you can buy with it and with this you've got two channels output. Um, each output or uh, each channel can uh, control up to 50 lights um, on a daisy chain and you can control things like on off time and you also have external temperature and humidity sensors where you can set boundaries to adjust the light output if the temperature was to get too high for example. So overall, it's a nice fixture, huge, as I said, really powerful, but they've got a full range of lights. And you can see down in the, uh, there's a link to the site down in the description below. Not available immediately on retail from there, um, but uh, I'm sure you can find um, retailers that are selling these lights wherever you are. So nice light to test, really enjoyed it. Uh, looking forward to your comments and suggestions. Please leave them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Take care.